We hear you're the best assassin in these parts. We want you to go to Paris to kill Phoebus. He can't give the church a bad name. You're right. I am the best assassin, and I've always wanted to go to Paris. I hear the dick is great there. I'm a massive slut. I can't wait. Hi Quasimodo. Remember, my brother Esmeraldo is coming today. I haven't seen him in years. I can't wait for you to meet him. I think you'll really like him. Be careful though, he is a massive whore. I may be ugly and a hunchback, but at least I'm not gay. Everything will be fine. I can't wait to meet him. That must be him now. Esmeralda you bitch. We could have met anywhere but you made me go to the one place with like 5 million fucking stairs. Who's your friend? This is Quasimodo. He's not just a friend, he's my best friend. So please don't try to stick your dick in him. Are you serious? I may be a slut but even I have fucking standards. What the fuck? I'm literally right here. Darling I'm just saying what we both already know. So I changed my mind. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I realized I've never fucked a disabled guy before. I thought I could ignore how curious I was about it, but now I realize what I need. What you need is to see a fucking therapist because I'm pretty sure this is called sex addiction. No, what I need is your hunchback of Notre Dick. Oh my fucking god. What? Do you hear yourself? What is wrong with you? I'm not even gay. Everyone's at least a little. Get out of my fucking house. Okay, first off, this is a public cathedral so you literally can't do that. And second, you wanted to fuck my sister, right? We're almost identical. It's essentially the same thing. And come on, look at you. We both know this ass is as good as it's ever going to get for you. Esmeraldo, this seems like a bad idea. I literally just spent the last three hours coming up with Hunchback of Notre Dick. Please just throw me a fucking bone. Literally. What harm could it possibly do? You lose your V-card and I try disabled dick. We both win. Afterwards we can just pretend it never happened. Alright fuck it. Fine. Let's do it. Wow, that was actually kind of amazing. Yeah and there were way less splinters than when I used to shove my wooden carved dolls up my ass. Uh, what? Nothing. I know this was supposed to just be a one-time thing but, would you ever want to do it again? Um, yeah, I'd actually like that a lot. Great. How about tomorrow at 8? It's a date. I mean, in a no homo this is just for gay sex way. Perfect. By the way, you don't happen to know a man named Phoebus do you? Phoebus is in Esmeralda's boyfriend? Fuck. Sir Esmeralda, how do you feel about your new boyfriend? Maybe it's just casual. He's the love of my life. We're going to get married. Motherfucker. Would you like to meet him? I think I'll take a rain check. I may be a slut but I'm not a monster. I can't kill her boyfriend. I need to stay in Paris until I can find a way to get out of assassinating him. At least I can get the good dick while I try to sort out this mess. Hey Esmeraldo, glad to see you're stopping by without any notice as usual. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised since this is about the 100th time you've done it in the last 3 months. Sorry, have I been bothering you coming by so often? No, it's actually been nice. It can get lonely around here sometimes. I like it much better when you're around. Oh no oh fuck no Esmeraldo, pull yourself together. This is not the time to start developing feelings. He only likes you because you look like your sister anyways. What the fuck is wrong with you, you stupid bitch? Fuck, why does he have to be so cute and give such surprisingly good dick? This is the fucking worst. Hey, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well at least this can't get any fucking worse. Hey, by the way. I don't want to worry you but there's some sketchy guys outside who said they were looking for you. Fucking kill me. What the actual fuck Esmeraldo? You've had three months. What the hell is taking you so long? I'm sorry. I'm working on it. I promise. Well work harder, because if you don't kill him by tonight, we kill you along with everyone you've ever loved. Are we clear? Yes. Hello Esmeralda. It's wonderful to finally meet you. It was so nice of you to show me your favorite rope bridge over a ravine in Paris. I didn't even know we had one of these. I'm so glad, wait, is that a knife? Brother, what are you doing? What I should have done from the start. Esmeraldo, please stop this. I'm sorry, I have to do this to protect you and Quasimodo.
Quasimodo. Hello Esmeralda, have you seen your brother? I just carved one of my creepy yet strangely also cute wooden stalker dolls of him. I know I carved him to look like a sexier version of Tinkerbell. And before you ask, yes it was a sex thing. I've been looking forward to showing it to him all day. Quasimodo, I'm so sorry. Esmeraldo is dead. He and Phoebus fell off a rope bridge into the single ravine in all of Paris. There's nothing left for me here. I'm leaving and I'm never coming back. You'll never see me again. Goodbye my friend. No, this can't be. But I never got to tell him how I really felt. And now you're leaving too. I'm going to be all alone. How can I go on without Esmeralda? Esmeralda, you are alive? Phoebus fell first and broke my fall. My neck didn't break like his but both my legs are broken. I think I'm crippled. Just hang on. I'll get you out of there. 